Hi, Mr Corsi here. In this question we're asked to work out the shaded area between the x-axis and this parabola and we're given the formula for that parabola. So this would involve integrating and it's between negative 1 and 3 and we have to integrate this quadratic expression 3 plus 2x minus x squared that's to be integrated between negative 1 and 3. The number we produce will be the actual area of this uh, diagram, the shaded area in this diagram. So square brackets, which means we're eventually going to plug in these values for x to work out our final answer. Integrating 3 gives us 3x. Integrating 2x x to the 1, we increase that 1 to a 2 and divide by the new index, 2x squared over 2, increasing that index 2 by 1 and dividing by the new index. So there's a slight simplification, that second term, the 2's cancel, we get 3x plus x squared minus x cubed over 3. So that's the expression that we're going to plug the value x equals 3 into and x equals negative 1 into and subtract the two results. So this first bracket we're going to replace x by 3. The second bracket we're going to replace x by negative 1. So 3 threes are 9. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed over 3. We'll work that out in a minute. Putting in negative 1, that's 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 squared is 1. And then we've got negative 1 cubed over 3. We have to subtract that. So 9 plus 9, that's 18. 3 cubed is 27. Divided by 3 is 9. And then we're subtracting negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Now, negative 1 cubed... Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 will give us negative 1. So that's negative 1 over 3. That's negative a third that we're subtracting. So that's adding a third. So 18 minus 9 is 9. Taking away negative 2. Adding 2. Taking away a third. So we've got 11 minus 1 third. So that gives us 10 and 2 thirds. And the area, shaded area, is actually equal to that because all of this is above the x-axis. So the shaded area is equal to 10 and 2 thirds units squared. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.